After traveling around the world this past decade, this last trip ironically ended up being a journey back to my roots. A few months ago, my cousin invited us to her wedding in Guadalajara. After months of waiting, we were finally on our way. Little did I know this short weekend trip was going to be the most impactful of the decade. Along for the trip is my wife Susie, my oldest son Jeff Jr., my parents Diana and Chava, and my friend slash photographer Alex. This is my journey back home. These are only available in Mexico. They're called chokis. Very similar to the Oreo cookie, but this one has chocolate filled insides. Do you have any left? Have one. Yeah, the rapper. <laughs> I'm a free animal, free animal. Free animal, free animal. My heart beats and patterns through the broken side. What did you say? You're gonna sip on tequila all night? Is that what you say? I said, I'm gonna slowly. So, we're talking about the day of the wedding. And normally, drinking starts very early during the day for a Mexican wedding. So, I told them, we're not gonna drink a lot. We're gonna sip on tequila throughout the night. Sip on tequila throughout the night. We're not gonna be drinking shots. We're gonna be sipping on tequila. Little tiny sips throughout the whole night. Alright, leave the food here. Enjoy the food. How do you normally eat tacos? That's how I eat tacos, bro. I've been gone for Mexico way too long. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. You know what that is? Solid 10. After spending the night in Monterrey, we boarded our flight to Guadalajara. That's when the vibe started hitting me. I've been on flights all over the world and this is the first time I remember getting emotional. It's been 12 years since I last visited Guadalajara. Guadalajara is a city with a population of over 7 million people. It's the second largest city in Mexico and it's known as the land of tequila and mariachi. More importantly, this is where I'm from. This is where my roots lie. My father's side of the family grew up here in a small town outside of the city known as Puerta de la Vega.
made it. This is exciting, man. Being here, the vibes hit in as soon as we walk out of the airport. You feel the vibes, man. We're in Mexico. This is this is, this is where it's at. Let's go. Llegando aquí a México, se te antoja la tequila. Te mandé una foto por si no me crees, ya vamos. Ah, ni la vi. No. No, no he visto. Es. ¿Qué tal me Tip of the iceberg. The family's still coming in. So just you know, try to enjoy it. Try and take it all in.
Hey, what's up guys? We're at the Sonora Prime in Guadalajara, Jalisco. We're at the pre-wedding celebration party. Uh, there's family from all parts of the world literally coming together to get ready for a, a beautiful wedding. And most of us have not seen each other in maybe a decade. So it's very special to be here with everybody, toasting with each other, celebrating each other, and just getting together in the good times, you know. Sometimes you, sometimes the only time you see families is during bad situations. And to be able to hang out with your family when it's, you guys are having a good time, that's uh, it's a blessing. So, cheers to everybody here, and let's have a good night. Good morning. Okay, day two begins today. I'm gonna do it again. Sorry. This is a good vlog. <laughs> scratch, scratch that last part. Good morning, guys. We begin day two with a quick little workout session. Susie beat us to the punch. Um, we were outside enjoying the view for a second, and uh, I'm actually a little bit sick for my stomach. Normally, this happens when you go to. Another part of the world, so want to buy this. So we got some Alka Seltzer. Dr. Ross recommended this to me. He said this is gonna do everything. It's gonna do miracles. That should be fine by midday. I also drank a tiny shot of this. This is white vinegar. Um, supposed to flush me out. And if nothing works, I got one last thing. It is for later tonight. These were given to us by the pharmacy. And they say that I need to be next to the restroom when I take this. Anyways, let's go get a workout. Maybe I'll feel better after the workout. And uh, let's get the day started. Guys, wedding day is upon us, and we just found out that Jeff, Jeff Jr., forgot his suit. So, Mama here and Dada here have to go find him a suit real quick. But yeah, we got about 30 minutes to do this. So. All right, we're halfway there. We decided not to take an Uber. Susie wanted to burn in a few extra calories before the wedding. And last night, we ate a little bit too much. I was trying my best to like not overeat because I was born, like my suit fits me like right to the T. So once I had like a few drinks in my system, it was like, all right, let's just indulge. And I'm paying the price right now. So we decided to walk it over, run it over. It's about a two mile sprint. And then we'll get an Uber back. I'd rather run around than be settled in. Some people say. 
Hey, so check it out. It's about to be uh, wedding time. Got to be ready at two, it's about one. Susie forgot her hairspray, so she sent me out to the store to buy her some hairspray. And I see Alex on Instagram eating these amazing tacos. So I'm like, hey man, give me some of that. We're about to try these out. Put some salsita. You hear that? It's a fucking 10. Come again, come again, come again, come again. know what to say <laughs> cut that shit yeah we just finished the wedding ceremony and the party begins now uh, it's tequila uh, a lot of family that I haven't seen in many many years some people that I haven't seen in about at least 10 to 15 years uh, are all coming together and there's a lot of tequila there's a lot of um, spirits and uh, it's gonna be a fun night so let's do this about I was just thinking about my daughters and just seeing this beautiful roll the clip
<laughs> we have to say. <laughs> hey, um. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, speechless. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Hey, I'm speechless right now. Gracias a todos. Shots para todos. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Really give him more shots. Pues estoy muy agradecido, como he dicho, con Dios por la oportunidad que me ha dado de relacionarme con gente tan amorosa, la familia Castillo, de la cual proviene mi esposa. Siempre todos muy queridos. Todos, no quiero mencionar tal vez a uno porque sería muy difícil. Y me siento agradecido por haber encontrado tal vez una mujer que me relacionara con la familia Castillo. A todos, a todos. Les doy ma, mis más sinceras gracias por haber asistido a este llamado, a esta celebración que en la vida de las personas es bien significativa. Esta ocasión en la de Stephanie. De, toda, de parte de de toda la, mi familia, a todos ustedes, familia querida, Castillo, los amo, gracias. ¿Quieres ir a la Oh, sí, calories, bro. I drank so much tequila last night. Happy birthday, dear Herman. Happy birthday to you. A ver, usted, yo sí, pero usted This is my godfather's house. Uh, they baptized me. Actually, like a block from here is a church where they baptized me. Uh, we'll go there in a bit. Go ahead, go ahead. ¿Qué hay caminito para allá por los cerros? Mira, tienen abierta la ventana, gordo. Mira, Juan. Para que la entrada ahí And you walk straight, you walk straight, you go all the way to the top of the hill and there's a cross, there's a little chapel at the top of the hill. And uh, we used to go there uh, and pray in the mornings. It's beautiful. That, this window here, that room is a guest room. That's where I would sleep when I was a kid. I would come here and that would be my room. This is my cousin Germán. Um, Alejandro. Yeah. So, so he's like a oh. sardomo, uh, so he's like, he can't hear. Yeah. Mi primo, lo mío. ¿Y qué hicieron en este baño? Lo hizo el tío Alfredo. Y le agarraron a esta, pues esta pared. Sí, le puse. Ahí está. 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 Ahí This Look at really, my Moringa plain, plain, plain. This is a Moringa plant. It's very healthy for you, for the digestive system. This is what my grandmother would, you know, wash the clothes, wash dishes. There was a pig farm to the left over there. There's a pig farm. Um, and then there was a whole, all this section over here was exotic, like, fruits. Like mango trees, like... I don't know, they had everything, bananas, everything, they would pretty much, they were self-sufficient. Yeah, actually, one of the most horrific things I saw growing up, uh, my grandmother would grab the chicken and she would like spin it, 
break the neck and then a few years a few a few hours later you'd be eating the same chicken so it was like it was weird for me to understand that as a kid but yeah that's the way it works Ivan, get mas, get mas. Ahí va, ahí va. First, you got the money. Yeah. Then you get the power. Once you get the power, hey, then you get the mandarin. ¿Qué parece? Two next. We're going to Mecca. We're going to enjoy it. It's going to be fun. This is where we pick up a lot of the loads we take up to the United States. So this is the spot. Uh, they make corn, roasted corn every day. We never have Mexican corn. It's a treat, special treat. It's a tradition in Mexico. And this spot here is a in, there's an entrance road to uh, Puerta La Vega, where you know where we're just at right now. And um, let's go try it out. Let's see. Let's see, how, let's see how good it is. On our last night, my uncle Lalo treated us for dinner at Hacienda Bungabilias in Ameca, Jalisco. There, our family exchanged stories. We relived the wedding night and made possible plans for a family reunion in the summer of 2020. Although this was a short visit, I relived a lot of my childhood memories. It's never easy saying goodbye. This is where I'm from. The ancestral energy that lies here is extremely powerful. During this trip, it dawned on me that many sacrifices have been made throughout past generations for me to have the opportunities I have today. Understanding this gives me an edge. It refuels me. I'm ready to continue my mission. Yeah.